Okay, so this is a buccal vitrectomy for a retinal detachment, fairly sizable uh, tear, about a clock hour to a uh, clock hour and a half located temporal nevus in this patient's eye. Once again, as we start out, we're going to start out over the attached retina. You can get a lot of vitrectomy done over this attached retina. Uh, and then under lower aspiration, very high cut rates. You can see here 20,000 cuts per minute. We're going to shave over our break. I like to diathermize. This patient had several breaks in addition to this fairly large break that you can see we're diathermizing now. Diathermize both the anterior and posterior edges. It helps control any kind of bleeding from bridging vessels or, or vessels that may have been avulsed during the tear. And it also helps to identify where your breaks are. So we'll go around and uh, diathermize even this little infranasal, uh, uh, infratemporal break. Uh, we want to identify it so that we can be sure that we have uh, everything lasered up. Back in with the vitrector, still a little bit of vitreous remaining. And now I'm going to use my cutter as I go to air. And I like this if there's a lot of vitreous still left anterior to the tear because then you don't have that incarceration of vitreous into your soft tip. That cutter is going to be able to remove that vitreous so you don't get that incarceration. We're going to stay right over our break. We're going to roll the eye so that the break's the most dependent part of the eye so that we can get as much fluid to shift over towards that tear. And we're going to do it nice and slow. And since you've got the cutter in the eye, might as well go ahead and do some vitrectomy under air. Now we're going to go ahead and just aspirate a little bit more right at the edge. Sometimes I'll turn off the cutter to do this. And then we'll come in with the soft tip, actually. And at the soft tip is where we want to try to snake that little soft tip, that silicone soft tip, underneath the retina and just try to get that edge bone dry. Dry off over the optic nerve to make sure that we've removed all the fluid from the eye. And then we're going to do some endo laser. And in this case, we're going to laser anything suspicious. We're going to laser anterior edges and posterior edges of the break um, all over that temporal area. Um, and then uh, I'll usually laser a clock hour or two on either side of all of the pathology. Nothing was going on nasally, so we didn't have to add any laser there. You can see lasering anterior here where the vitreous is still attached there, but we shaved it down once again with vitrectomy and vitrectomy under air. And then uh, after we've completed our laser there temporally, we'll uh, remove any residual fluid and a gas air exchange and close up. Thanks for watching.